Hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Admiral G1 Videos. Today is just a little um, off the usual routine. We're going to be um, learning how to get sprays onto Gmod. We're going to be learning how to get add-ons onto Gmod, like bombs. We're going to be doing some bombs today. And then we're going to do another uh, tutorial on how to get maps onto Gmod. So all three in one should be about a ten minute video, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to test them out. That'll be like five minutes. We'll test all of the things out in uh, five minutes how to put it on. So first, you're going to want to go to your web browser. Um, I use Google Chrome. You go to Gary's Mod. You're going to click on that. And then uh, here's a whole bunch of... This is where you're going to want to go when you want to get mods. So let's... Uh, if you want a map, you can just click on the hot link up here uh, for some maps. First, we're going to start with the uh, bomb download. This is just to get a basic on how to do it. So let's look for it. Here we go. Tons of bombs. Looks like a hell of a fun time. And um, you just, whenever you go to the mod that you want to get, just always look at the description. There could be a certain way to download it. But to download it, you need to sign in to Steam. Uh, there's a sign up thing up here. I already signed in. So once you're signed in, you're going to download the file. It's going to be a zip. So right now it's downloading. Uh, I've connected to Facebook down here. People talk about it. Troubleshooting. They usually give credit down here. Many more included in the README. This README that comes with the download right here. Here's a whole bunch of stuff. How to install. This guy's funny actually. Uh, blow shit up. Yep. Uh, let's see. Double click on the add ons folder. All right, if you have the previous ones, delete them. I do not, so we're gonna click on this baby and we're gonna click on extract to. You're gonna need WinRAR, by the way. So first go to your C drive and then go to your program files. Uh, it all depends, it might be in your user, but wherever your Steam is located, mine's in the uh, program files 86. You go to Steam, Steam apps, your name, Gary's mod, Gary's mod again. And you're gonna double click on add-ons. So now just leave it nice and highlighted, and uh, you press OK. So right now it's just transferring over, yes, to all because I already downloaded. I'm just showing you guys again, and uh, yeah. So that's how you get add-ons onto the uh, onto the game. So right now we're going to test it out. So let's give it a little test. I'm going to stop the video. All right, everyone. So we are now inside the game, and uh, right now. We're going to see if our bomb add-on worked. So remember, this is an add-on. Uh, you're going to extract it to your add-ons using WinRAR. So I'm going to post, that's what we did so far. So it said it was an entity, and bada-bing, here it is. No icons, I don't think they're supposed to come with icons, but um, basically a whole bunch of bombs to make big explosions. All right, let's see if maybe I'll shoot it. <laughs> nice. All right, that is beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. So let's see, high explosive. This is a great add on, I gotta say. I tested that before, it's great. Vacuum bomb. Ooh, man, that was a large explosion. Alright. So, of course, some are bigger than the others. Um, let's try one more. Tanker truck, where are you? I found that one cool. Tanker truck, tanker truck. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, great, great job with this, I gotta say. Great job with this add-on. But yeah, like I said, this is an add-on. Do it again. Yeah, buddy, that is cool. <laughs> that is cool. Alright, so let's go get the map and uh, spray. Alright, so now we are going to get a map onto Gmod. Um, what you're going to want to do is find a map that you like. I found Gmod Flatgrass Airport. Um... Now, all maps in Gmod are BSP files. Most of them are. Uh, so, after you download this file, you're going to want to open it. And you're going to want to look at the add-ons. And you're going to want to look around the file. Uh, and look for a BSP file. So, as you can see here, there's a BSP file right here. That's the map. That's why the size is so large. 47 million, I think, bytes that is. Um, uh, yeah. This PRT file, I'm not sure. 
but this is the way I do it because when I end up extracting it like add-ons then everything gets misconfigured and everything's weird but uh, yeah this is the way I do it I just look for the BSP file look around I look inside the uh, compiled uh, file that you download from here and I just I just look around for the BSP file just look for make sure it says BSP and then what I do is I go to my remember this is for Vista only people go to your local disk program file same as before it's just a little difference but it's coming up go to your username Gary's mod twice now you're gonna go to maps right here and as you can see here I have tons of maps from downloading and all this different stuff but as you can see here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the BSP file I'm gonna hold it you can't put it back in here I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna pop it right in there uh, move uh, move and replace because I already downloaded it there you go Gary's mod flag race BSP just like all the hundreds of other maps that I have they're all BSP files this is the way I do it you can do a different way but you know what let's see if most of they should but most of the maps should have a BSP file in it so let's just make sure here we go house pack actually you know what that's a pack so let's go to a single map it's raining like crazy outside sorry people here we go forest looks like a nice beautiful one this is a cool one there we go. All right, so we're gonna let's download it. Forty-three megs. Damn. All right, we gotta wait. Airsoft time. It's a, it's a pretty damn cool map. Not gonna lie. All right, we're just gonna wait for the download to finish. I love Google Chrome. It's great. You know what? In the meantime, we'll get the spray ready. But we won't do it yet. Remember, look at the description all the time. It, is, it does, does look like a beautiful map, especially the sky box, which is the sky around the map. The lighting looks really good. Wow. <laughs> looks really good. Alright, so our download is done. We're going to open it. Now, of course, maps. Here we go. This is what we want. A BSP file. Largest file there. It says BSP file. There you go. Drag it into your maps in, in, uh, in Gmod after, after going to the directory I told you and uh, drag it right in and there you go. I'll tell you what. We're actually going to, I'm going to download it now. I guess we'll, I'll show you guys in a different episode. Alright, I'll go over this again. Program files, wherever your Steam is located. Steam apps. Gmod man. Gary's mod, Gary's mod. Go to your maps. Bada bing. Drag it in here. Loads. Done. It's in there. I think this is the easy way to do it. Uh, there's many other ways. Like I said, you can extract it using WinRAR, but kind of a WinRAR noob. But uh, yeah, that's so that's how you do it. Um, I think we, we already went over the uh, how to do it for the other one, right? Yeah. So we did it for this one already. All right, so um, I'm going to go test out this map right now and see if it worked out. And uh, I'll meet you back here with um, how to uh, get sprays onto Gmod. All right, so we are in the map right now. Um, we did it my way, which is taking the BSP file and putting it into maps using WinRAR and opening up the files. It's a nice little uh, airport um, map. I think it's great if you're a flyer in this game. So the big hole's a little weird, but uh, it's an alright map. It's not too bad. It's a little weird, but it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's I'm gonna put all the links, by the way, to all the downloads if you uh, like any of these maps or anything. And um, this is one way to get maps. And a different way is by going to start new game and going to toy box and getting a map from inside the game. They have a lot of cool ones in here. Um, they have a lot of funny ones too, but if you really want to look for a specific map, you're going to want to go to garysmod.org. If if it's because if it's not in Toy Box, and you could do the same with Toy Box by holding down Q and doing the same with entity with entities and props, and they have tons of things here. Um, but yeah, so there's many different ways to do it, but garysmod.org is to get the full effect out of it. As you can see, this is this is a firework one. But yeah, so that's a. Uh, 
that's how you get maps using the BSP file I'm gonna end up and putting it in like I just showed you all right now we're gonna do sprays alrighty so now we're gonna get some sprays onto Gmod it's a it's a great addition to Gmod you're really not getting all of your game you're not you're really not getting the full effect out of the multiplayer when uh, you don't have a spray because you see everyone put funny pictures up sometimes they're a little inappropriate but we're gonna get, we're gonna get a funny one up so there's many different ways to do it uh, so let's go to paint and let's make our own now uh, everyone wants to make their own spray one's gonna be high Admiral Gmod videos <laughs> it's beautiful uh, color a little bit. Now we're gonna save it. This is in Paint, remember, people. Uh, you can do, use it anything. You can paste something in there, a picture from Google Images. It can be anything. Uh, so let's go to Test AGV. We're gonna save it. So now, uh, once you have it, you can exit out. Once you have it saved, you're gonna go to your um, Gmod directory. So you're gonna go to Computer, your C drive. It's the same area where we put the add-ons of the maps. You're going to go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Maps, your username, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, and this is where you're going to put your picture. This is where I put my other one. <laughs> this Nicolas Cage saying how to get bird. There's a bird on this. I don't know. It looks, it looks really funny. And that's my spray. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to get, you're going to go to your user. Or wherever you saved your picture, you go to pictures, and you're gonna get your thing that we saved. So here we go, test AGV. Beautiful. Put it right in there. That's nice, I guess. It's just a test. Um, so wherever you got your picture, just drag it right into your second Gary's mod, where where all the folders are: Lua, Help, Game Modes, everything else. It's, it seems a little weird to put it here, but yeah, make sure it's JPEG image. Uh, so yeah, so now let's let's equip it on Gmod and get it ready for multiplayer. All right, all right. So um, now that you're inside Gmod, you're on your main menu where it says Start New Game, Load Game, etc. You're gonna go to Options, and you're gonna look. Uh, you're gonna go to your keyboard. Now a problem that I found with me, I don't know why, but I had no configured button for my spray logo so go down to miscellaneous and go to spray logo and make sure you press edit key and make sure you put in the key that's there so here we go t t is the is the universal spray button i don't know why mine wasn't clicked in with t but yeah i don't know but uh so audio has nothing to do we're gonna go to multiplayer next and you're gonna go to you're gonna go to import spray so this is your first Gmod man after your user, and this is your first Gary's mod. This is your directory. You're gonna click on Gary's mod again, and you're gonna go down to your JPEG file. Um, so here we go, test AGV. There it is. Hi, AGV. Um, remember, it was just a test. So now let's test it out. I'm not sure if it's gonna work on my own uh, single player, but I'm gonna test it out. If not, we'll join the server real quick, and I'll show you what uh, happens basically. So let's go on here, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I started an independent multiplayer game. I'm going to be showing a tutorial on how to do that in the future, by the way. And uh, we're going to test out our spray. So you're going to go anywhere on the map. Uh, just make sure the server is spray enabled, and you're allowed to put sprays. And uh, you're going to go up to a wall, a floor, anything, and you're going to press T when you're near the wall. So you hear a little spray sign, and there we go. Hi, AGV. <laughs> Simple as that, guys. It's it's not that hard. Um, I had a little confusion with it in the beginning because uh, I felt like it wasn't supposed to be in that Gary's Mod directory. But then all you gotta do is import it from the options and the main menu. Click on the one that you want, and then there you go. So you can always disconnect. Go to options if you want to change it. Import spray Gary's Mod. I'm gonna go back to my Nicolas Cage one. And that's basically it. Um, that's how you do it. That's how you get sprays. That is how you get add-ons. That is how you get maps my way onto Gmod. Um, now you have to realize that technology moves really fast and the developers who make all these add-ons and all these maps, they have to update constantly to keep their maps going and their add-ons going. 
sprays you don't have to sprays just do what I said and uh, do what I said in the video and it, it'll, it'll be it'll stay like that uh, unless there's a huge Gmod update like Gmod 13 is coming out but yeah most add-ons work I tried out a lot of maps a lot of maps didn't work because it was out of date you can see on the Facebook posts below the download that it wasn't that was that it was out of date and uh, basically yeah so thanks for watching everyone I hope you uh, enjoyed it this actually is not falling under any playlist this is just gonna be in other in my playlist this is just for it should be on tutorial Tuesdays which I'm probably gonna make it on but um that's basically it guys I hope you enjoyed it and uh, how to uh, get add-ons how to get maps and how to get sprays onto Gmod my way it should work most of the time. If not, then I'm sorry. If you need some troubleshooting, message me on my YouTube. Uh, uh, fave, comment, like, subscribe, comment. I already said that. Anything. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.